on Flat Pass Road. We've done a decent amount of hiking so far, which was to be expected, but damn, it's beautiful. The gnarly climbing part of Flat Pass is over. I just stopped at Mill Creek to get some water. I only started with two liters, so I wouldn't have to lug up a bunch of water over all those rock ledges and stuff. Pretty happy with that decision. Getting some paved miles in. About to go up into the LaSalle's first mountain range we get to go over out of Moab. LaSalle Pass, very rough road. Been kind of on and off the bike. Uh, this section, I'm running a 3220. It's a little bit steeper than is worth my energy. So I'm pushing for a minute. The view down, back down into the Moab Valley is pretty unreal. Been going about five hours now. Uh, Stop just for a second to get my lunch out of my pack here. Grab a handful of potato chips, but I've got this cheese roll up deal that I'll eat for lunch. There's some nice, good, clean spring water here. So I just stopped to chug some water and I'm gonna bring some of this with me because stuff is slow. Lots of hiking. I wanna make sure I've got enough to get to the paradox post office spigot without having to filter salty water. I'm up over 9,000 feet now. My lungs are feeling it a bit. But it's nice and cool. It's shaded from these aspens. I just talked to some motos who told me they accidentally got on this road, which would be quite a surprise. But they also gave me some data that the way down is much smoother and has lots of beautiful views. Ooh, all right, top. A little over 10,000 feet. This is gonna be a fast descent. This road is passenger vehicle worthy. Oh man, the view is about to open up. Wow. Bye, LaSalle's. It's a beautiful ride. There's a lot of cattle grazing out here. This one's a cow, but a lot of them are bulls. And I don't love that. Hello. some water at the post office. There's a spigot outside. A lady's three dogs jumped out all over me. They were very friendly, but they wouldn't stop jumping on me. And they had goat heads in their paws. So then I got goat heads in my legs. I'm hauling ass right now because I'm trying to make it to Tim's house before he stops serving burritos at midnight. If I don't make it, I'm gonna have to stay in Nukla. I'd love to get a little bit further than that tonight. But I know that there are some rough miles ahead, so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna make it. So I lose sun in the canyon. Uh, this canyon is absolutely gorgeous. The river, or maybe it's Muddy Creek. I'm not sure if it's the Dolores or Muddy Creek. I've been trying to see on my map. Uh, it's very brown and silty, and it smells pretty weird. Wow. That's gorgeous. Desert rivers, man. I have a few more minutes of daylight. 
I'm gonna be cutting it really close, making it to Tim's house by midnight. I'm trying really hard. Tim said there's a 12 mile stretch between where I'm in at now and Nupa that takes three hours. Oh wow, look at that sunset. All right. Oh, is that a person? Okay. <laughs> I thought it was animal eyes. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to figure out what animal would look like that. <laughs> well, I laid down to sleep not too long ago. But something is making a racket. And I don't know what it is, so... I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep here, so I'm gonna move along. Find a new spot. It's a chilly morning. My Garmin said it was 36 when I woke up. Um, I didn't sleep a whole lot last night. With the uh, <laughs> having to move locations, then I rode another like hour and a half. <laughs> and I still just had a hard time sleeping. Uh, but I feel pretty rested, so uh, tonight I'll sleep a little more. What a sunrise. Some more hiking this morning. You might wonder why someone might want to go on this big dumb ride with so much hike-a-bike. That's why. Man, like looking back down in that valley we were riding in before. I'm really starting to sweat, as you can see, so I have some salt pills. Take a couple of those. Make sure that I'm getting enough salt in addition to my water. You can see just the tip of the saws over there. And the Abajos, where we're headed, over there. Yeah. Ascending time! Following tracks. I know Pete is one of those tracks. I trust his line. I'm not sure who the other person is. Well, I might have to ration my water. Um, the filter should work for water like this, but it's pretty shallow and warm and not moving and there's a pile of cow shit in it, so I think I, I mean, I have enough and I'd rather ration than drink cow shit water. Have a good day. <laughs> that was good timing to get off the road. <laughs> yeah. Next mountain range, I get to go over the Abajos. I'm finally getting into Monticello, like three and a half hours later than I thought, but that's okay. I'm gonna go eat a bunch of food, get a resupply, then head up into the Abajos. Back up in the mountains, much cooler up here. Could be a chilly night. That's night number two, up above 10,000 feet. So I'm in my puffy and some extra layers. I don't know if the video captures the color of the sky, but that's gorgeous. A little after 5 a.m. in Bears Ears. Just getting started for the morning. After about five hours of sleep, which felt very luxurious compared with the two a couple nights ago. Oh, first little bit of light. Oh man. water stop. The guard station burned down, but there's supposed to be a hand pump. So 
somewhere. Yeah. I know, I was a little bit bummed that we like did the whole, that whole thing at night, but I can always go back. Yeah. Sign said uh, Arch Canyon Overlook. Some pretty cool looking rock formations in there. I filled up eight liters of water to get to <coughs> the beaver campground or some something beaver campground. Um, that will save me some time and energy so I don't have to stop and hike because uh, the ranger station with water is 1.7 miles one way off route. So it's heavy but I think it'll it'll save me time in the long run I think. Taking a shoe off break and putting some sunscreen on heating up Really cool mesas over there. It's gonna be tough, but I'd love to get over the Henry today. It's decently windy and we have a headwind, but it's fairly warm today, and with this wind, it feels like perfect. I have a three liter bladder in my backpack. My butt doesn't love it when that thing is full, so I've been standing up a lot. But single speed, you tend to stand up a lot anyways. Doesn't that just look so rad with the mountains at top and the canyons below? I've been riding pretty hard and feeling really good but as I get lower now it's getting hotter so I'm trying to uh, manage my effort and expectations my Garmin is reading 100 degrees that's I mean obviously hotter than the actual air temperature since it's a black box in the Sun but it's hot. I'm still at almost 6,900 feet. I get down to like three, so it's gonna be warm. Taking a quick shoes off break. Let them get some sun. They're starting to feel, uh, feel some hot spots and I've got a big hike coming up tonight. Also, I feel like I need to put some more sunscreen on, so I'll do that too. All right, how'd I do with the sunscreen? Actually, not that bad. Man, what an incredible place. the dirty devil. That must be why my van was uh, was on the route because <laughs> that's what Andrew's doing right now. Why not? I'm taking a break in the shade. Uh, fortunately it's the easiest terrain that has been on the route so far today. Um, so far. Uh, what am I saying? The terrain that we've gone on today has been easier than the rest of the route. Um, which is good because it's hot. 
Carmen says 101. I'm feeling it, so I'm going to take some salt pills and drink some water and take a second to regroup. Thank goodness for these tall canyon walls. It's 540, but uh, the sun's behind the canyon, so shade. And it feels really nice now. I can't believe how fast the days are going. It's already almost sunset on day three. Oh boy, a glimpse of where we're headed. That is crazy. That, and not that long. I'll be up there. <sighs> I'm doing my best to manage my asthma. Um, I just used uh, my lung vibrator is what I call it, but I don't know what it's, the actual name is. Uh, it gave me a bloody nose <clears throat> from coughing. But I was able to get some crap out of my lungs and then take my albuterol inhaler so it works better. So, um, Aside from feeling really hoarse <laughs> after coughing that much, it helped a lot. Another sunset. So peaceful out here. Heading out of the desert again and back up into the mountains. All right, time to put sleep kit away. I uh, found a little baby cactus yesterday, or last night, unfortunately, on a brand new pad. And I decided to not bring a patch kit because it wasn't done. I was like, well, if I get a hole in it, I'll just deal with it. So I dealt with it. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Good morning from the Henry's. It's my fourth morning. I have like maybe like 23 miles to go to Hanksville. Running low on food, doing okay on water. It's fall in the Henry's. Sun is just hitting the mountains. This route is just absolutely incredible. I am so stoked to be out here. Um, even though it doesn't make sense from a temperature standpoint, I uh, kind of secretly wanted to be in the desert during the day so I could see all this stuff. I just got to Hanksville. I actually already went to the grocery store, but they didn't have any hot food, so I'm gonna go to gas station. Well, it'll be good to get off this highway. There's not very much traffic, but uh, an RV with a trailer came within about two inches of me. <sighs> so fucking scary. People just don't get over, not willing to wait. Never been so happy to see a toilet in my life. Had to ride on the highway for like 15 miles whilst having to scoot care of it. You can see the Henry's way over there where I came from this morning. It's about 11 o'clock. I'm starting to get warm. Um, and clearly there's no shade for a while. I don't know how frozen they are anymore, but it sounds delicious. Oh, uh, in this moment, I feel like this is one of the most beautiful places I've been. Well, you may be wondering how I got myself into this predicament. <laughs> I had to cross the creek. This looks like where most people are crossing, like motors and stuff. Um, I can't see the bottom, so I just walked it. And now my feet are very muddy. <laughs> I walked my bike up there first. about three o'clock, hottest part of the day. It's starting to get pretty warm. Um, I've been walking up a lot of steep stuff. Uh, but 
the first shade in a while. Thank you, Rock. So I'm gonna eat a snack, take a caffeine pill, and um, I don't know that I really need a nap. I just need to get out of the sun. Such a good break. I think I am gonna take a nap. So what's the maximum amount of cheese a person should consume in a day? What do you think? Will it be okay if I eat half of this? It's a pound. Half pound of cheese. That breeze feels good. It's starting to cool down. 5.30. Elevation quickly. <laughs> this seems like pretty park, of course. <laughs> We're hiking. So beautiful and also difficult. <laughs> Another gorgeous sunset. I'm at about 98 miles for the day. I wanted to get 100 in, but um, the spot is like nice and warm and sheltered from the wind. Plus I'm kind of grouchy from the last few hours. So it'll be good to get some rest and have a new start tomorrow. I'm feeling really grateful this morning for a body that can Take me here. There is water. I've got five and a half liters left for like close to 90 miles. And I have a feeling it's gonna be hot today. So I'm gonna like chug a bunch of water and then maybe scoop up another couple liters. All right, this water is very silty, so. I'm going to try to not, uh, I want to chug some, but I don't know if I want to even run this water through my filter. So I'll scoop it with this, pour it into the bottle, filter it through the bandana, and then just use water tabs. Yeah, it's pretty silty, so let's do the bandana trick. How much the bandana actually helped, but a little bit of never hurt anybody. So go ahead and put some tabs in. Saw some backpackers not too long ago. Filtered at Muddy Creek. Makes me feel better about my water situation for today. I was kind of tired this morning, but now I got a second wind. I feel great. I am really impressed with the condition of the gravel roads that we've been riding on. Like, no washboard. Um, much appreciated fast miles after a slow night and morning. So that riding was just like so hard. Burrito time.
These 2.6 tires are eating up the sand. It's perfect. Riding on the Fix It Pass trail. It's pretty fun so far. Had some cloud cover for a while now. Super nice. Bit of a situation here with my sunglasses. So I got some super glue. And glue it together and see. Ooh. That's Chaz up there. He just passed me. Ah, headwinds are great. Single speed equalizer. Last sunset on the Utah Mixed Epic. Bought a bunch of food in Green River. I have enough food and water to, to Moab in 83 miles. Just woke up from a few hour sleep. Either Art or Jazz passed me. See if I can. <coughs> Too deep to ride, so I'm walking. Morning. I'm like 35 miles outside of Moab or something. Finishing off with some Moab single track. Really trying to push it on the section section of trail. Our text behind me. I think we both know that he's faster on single track than I am. with the single track. Now I'm on Gemini Bridges Road and take this down a bike path. I think I have like 11 miles to go or so. Check the tracker. It showed our tech four miles behind me but I didn't check what time it made. So I'm just going as fast as I can. I have to get to the end dot. I smell so bad, sorry. 